Hey folks, how's it going out there tonight? So I've had several comments about how to do a software update on your Garmin unit. Uh, there's a couple different ways to do it. You can use a computer and use the Garmin Express or you can use the Active Captain app with your cell phone. So depending on which you're more comfortable with me, I like using my cell phone. It does take a little while to do it, um, you know, so don't try to download that 15 minutes before you go to the lake. So we'll go over that a little bit. I'll show you a couple of different methods. Now, depending on your phone, your computer, uh, it may be a little bit different. And this is one of the few features that Garmin does have some videos on their support page. So if you watch this and you still don't understand it, or if you want to go to the Garmin pages first, uh, by all means do that. So stay tuned, it should be informative, and we'll get right to it. So if you haven't done it already, you need to purchase a micro SD card for your Garmin unit. And Garmin for the Ecomap series, they recommend not over a 32 gigabyte. So I went ahead and purchased 32 gigabyte micro SD cards for my units. Now we'll go ahead and start by using a computer to do a software update. So the first thing you need to do is remove your micro SD card from your unit and put it into your computer using an adapter. By using this method, you really don't need to have power on your unit. Uh, a lot of you who have it in boxes and haven't installed it yet, or your boat isn't accessible, this is a good way to get your software updates out of the way before you get ready to get out on the water. Now just to be clear, for those of you who've installed your unit already and you have waypoints, user data, uh, quick draw maps, things like that, doing your software updates like this will not update your information on your Active Captain app. So keep that in mind. So again, if you haven't already done so, go ahead and download Garmin Express on your computer. Now, I use an Apple, so yours may be different, but go ahead and uh, get it downloaded, and it'll walk you through the process. So at this point is where you go ahead and put your SD card with the adapter in the computer and be prompted to sign into your account. Then after you get signed in, you can go ahead and name your unit and set the region. And from there, it'll look for software updates. And I'll go ahead and leave this run for a little bit and go through some of the tools in the uh, chart so you can just read along. And here you can see the four Garmin units that I have registered. And for those of you who have been looking at this for the uh, Eco Map, you can see I've got the Striker series also. So I'll be doing a series of videos on those as well. And the 
Garmin Express also handles all of your GPS units. So you can see a flashback there. I also have a uh, RV GPS map unit that I use from time to time. Here we're going through and looking at the uh, maps and you can see it had the quick draw contour maps and the Lakeview maps. Now here's a look at the uh, file folders that Garmin Express builds into the SD card. Okay, so now let's go over the steps to download software from your smartphone. If you haven't already, go to the App Store and download the free Active Captain app. Once the app is launched, it's important to note it's going to ask you to connect to the Chart Plotter's Wi Fi network, not Bluetooth. That's very important. It's going to connect to the Wi Fi. So go into your smartphone to the Wi Fi settings and connect from there. Now, when you're connected to the Wi Fi, your phone has to be pretty close to the unit. Uh, the Wi Fi signal is not very strong. Now, the app will start searching for downloads. And once it sees that it, you need a software update, uh, you can go ahead and just click the download button. I am fast forwarding through this because it does take a few minutes for the uh, download to process. Now it's time to go ahead and transfer the software onto your chart plotter. It may be necessary for you to connect back to your Wi-Fi once again like you did previously. And now the process of uploading the information from your chart plotter to the community, to the quick draw community and updating your user data into your Active Captain app. Depending on how much you have in your quick draw community and how many waypoints and markers you have, at this point go ahead and make a sandwich and eat lunch. It's going to take a little bit. At this point there may be some things that the Active Captain app wants you to update like email preferences and, and things like that. Um, you can go ahead and do that at this time. Now we can actually download the software update onto our chart plotter. So there are some advantages to using the Active Captain app so you can keep up with community waypoints and have your maps available to others and it also acts as a backup so you can transfer data from one sonar unit to another in case something happens or you upgrade sonar units like I did going from a striker series which doesn't have a micro SD card over to the eco map uh, it was easy to just transfer all my waypoints and my user data from one unit to the other using the Active Captain app. Remember, you can always do a simple software update through the Garmin Express, and there are some uh, toggle buttons in the Active Captain app if you don't want to participate in the in the Quick Draw community and all that, which will uh, take time off of all these uploads and downloads. All right, so we're almost done. Let's bring this video home. So after you've done your uploads of your user data and then downloaded your new software, go ahead and go to your Active Captain app, and it's there on your home screen. And now we're just going to do the final software upload. So once you've opened up your Active Captain app, 
Go ahead and press the software update and sometimes it'll have a uh, pop-up window that says new software available, uh, review or back. You go ahead and press review and that will start the uh, of actually downloading the software onto the unit. Once the process is complete, your screen should look like this. Uh, I have my smart notifications, which is like if I get an email or a text message while I'm on the water, I really don't want it popping up on my screen. So that's why that one is yellow. Uh, the active captain communications is just because I had connected my phone to it and it's going through once again and uploading my user data but it'll do that every time. So to get, your, uh, to get your unit completely updated is a little bit of a process, but when you're done, it's, it's well worth it. If you enjoyed this video, hit like and subscribe. Let's get out on the water and have a great day.